Hello. Um, today is, what the heck is today? December 29th, 2019, and I decided to make a short little video of my current progress on the transmission project I've been working on forever and ever and ever. Uh, the current, this is the current setup. Uh, still needs some changes to be made, um, but it's actually functioning more or less okay. This really needs to go through the whole derailleur thing, whatever. It's really just a disputed chain tensioner back there of some kind. So I'm just using a pre-existing um, derailleur just to have a just to have tension on the chain when it gets um, when the front kick gets smaller. So the chains over on this side. Oh, apologize for the crappy video. Um, and this is pedaling backwards, all right, and then, uh, forwards. Now I've tested out putting a bit of extra tension on the chain just by, um, holding the wheel still. And I don't know if I can record that while... I'm holding the phone. I will try to maybe... That's not going to work. I'm not sure what I can do. But if I hold that still... Um, I don't know if I can... There's got to be a way I can do this. Oh, I know. With my foot. There we go. I'm going to like scuff my shoe there. Whatever. Alright. So we're pedaling. We're pedaling. And then it requires... It encounters resistance. more resistance. Okay. It will shrink. And yes, getting rid of all the jumpies would be the best. Okay. So now more resistance and it shrunk the front gear. Got some jumps. Would need to work on that. Uh, it's lubricated with um, lithium grease. For nylon, it seems to be the best. Um, and then, so the resistance is gone, and um, as you can see, it is coming back out. Um, but one of the problems I'm having is that the uh, little ratchet wheels uh, are threaded on, and I put a stop in them so that you can't over tighten them, but because it's nylon and it has some flexibility, uh, they are over tightening. And when you are, are um, cranking it, uh, that crank pressure um, uh, tightens them more as you're pedaling. So unfortunately, right now, that's uh, compressing, it's putting too much, too much clamping pressure on the plate because it's over tightening, and then that's preventing it uh, from being able to open again. Um, so I need to get another version of uh, this uh, threaded thing that will stop for sure. I think if it was metal, it probably would stop because there is a thread stop in there. It's just it's just going too far because it's nylon and it's a softer material. Uh, also, the crank arm, I messed up the angle at which the axle needs to be lining up with the arm, so as you can, I don't know if you can tell, but it's, it's not 180 degrees, it's, it's saying it's off, see, you can see it from there, it's off quite a bit, it's like 40, 40-ish degrees off, not quite 45, somewhere between, I don't know, 30 and 40 degrees off, but I changed that and to add a stop to these, um, that needs to go all the way through there, it should still fit. Uh, this threaded hole here I made slightly too, slightly, slightly too big for the pedal. I need to make that a teeny bit smaller, and then that's it. So, yeah, all these little, the springs are in all of the joint pieces. You can see the little spring holes in there, and that seems to work pretty good. I feel like the amount of resistance is actually not bad. 
um, when it doesn't clamp too hard, it does it does open up. Um, you know, this really is going to need to the whole thing is really going to need to be almost frictionless or as little friction as possible, totally lubed up, and have the only resistance to it be the springs and not not any friction between the parts. Now that'll be a an issue I need to work with trying to figure out how to get the that lack of friction, but. Um, I think that whole clamping down problem is is big, and I need to do do a better stop there. But that's it so far. It's actually functioning pretty good, and that's the end of my video. Have a good day.